Hi, I'm May. As Christmas is gradually getting closer and closer, tonight I'm going to read you a bedtime story called Santa's Sleigh is on its way to the Isle of Wight. Written by Eric James, illustrated by Robert Dunn. The moon over Isle of Wight cast a cool glow a new port lies snug under blankets of snow. The star-sprinkled sky is especially bright. Hey, Santa! Hey, Santa! Please visit tonight. The snowman in carbon stand perfectly still. Their hands and their scarves keeping out the night chill. The icicles sparkle as snowflakes drift down from Yarmouth to Banbridge and all across town. The Christmas trees twinkle, the eggnog smells sweet, the stockings are out for the gifts, not your feet. The bunting and paper chains hang from the ceiling and give whole household that Christmassy feeling. Excited young children with heads full of wishes, leaves, mince pies and big juicy carrots on dishes. They scurry upstairs, for they've heard it is said that Santa's come once you're asleep in your bed. In Northwood, the yarns become stronger and stronger. The children of cows cannot stay up much longer. From Brighton to Brading and Wooten Bridge too, they're soon asleeping soundly and children but you. You stand at your window and gaze at the sky with hopes that you see Santa's sleigh whizzing by. You almost nod off but see movement ahead. A flurry of white and some flashes of red. You jump up and down and the shape becomes clear. Hey Santa! Hey Santa! My home is over here! But something is wrong. There are sparks everywhere. The sleigh twists and turns and it swoops through the air. You're wide awake now. You have had such a fright. There's no chance of sleep till you know he all right. You think about Santa, his reindeer and sleigh. Hey Santa, hey Santa, I hope you're okay. Yes, Santa is fine. He's in Sea Close Park, replacing the fields for his sleigh in the dark. He tugs on the range, shouting, up, up, away! And hits the ignition which starts up his lane. With magical speed only Santa possesses, he visits well over a thousand address. From Sandown to Ventnor delivering toys, he visits each house without making a noise. Now Santa has been to all house but one. He can't go back home till this last house is done. It's your house, of course, but you're still wide awake. He circles above as he takes a small break. And that's when you see him, you know he's all right. Your head hits the pillow, you're out like a light. He lands on the roof to the sound of your snores. It's Santa! It's Santa! He's coming indoors! But, ugh! You wake up and you jump to your feet. You're sure you forgot to leave Santa a treat. Will Santa leave presents for someone so rude? You must go downstairs and make sure he has food. You enter the kitchen and turn on the light. 
not spotting the figure who ducks out of sight. You're still half asleep, so you don't find it weird that the broom had a hat and a coat and a beard. You go to the cupboard to get the mince pies, and all without spotting his clever disguise, you open the fridge so you don't hear a sound of Santa who running off into your lounge. With a blade in your hands, you head off to the tree. You're feeling so sleepy. You don't even see a sight that would have your heart skip a bit. The curtains have sprouted to Santa's side feet. Still asleep, you head back to bed with a smile. The panic is over. It's all been worthwhile. You climb up the stairs, not once looking back, as a chuckling Santa takes toys from his sack. Now Santa is leaving, his sleigh raised high. It sparkles and fizzles and lights up the sky. The street lights are bright, all grow dim in the night. Hey Santa! Hey Santa! Please have a safe flight. Soon Santa leaves the ice fine coastline behind, where children are lovely and grown-ups are kind. And then he booms loudly, his voice full of cheer. Ho, 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 I love white. See you next year. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story. Now it's bedtime. Go to bed. Good night.